Hey, true believers, this is El Viejo Toro for The Fancy Action Now, and this is The Summer of Sega. Last summer, I did a very big series of videos, my Saturn collection, my Jenny collection, etc., etc., uh, highlighted on certain Sega games, and we talked about where Sega is going, and I bespoke to uh, Alien Isolation, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2, as uh, signs that Sega is getting to to the point to re-emerge into a more dominant role of the market. That's right, Sega's back, baby. Sega is back. And that was the title of one of my videos from the summer of Sega. And I will link it in the description, go check it out, because I am a freaking profit in that. Uh, because 2017 is the year that Sega has re-emerged from the chrysalis uh, to become uh, a transmogrified version of itself and take on the world as a strange alien hybrid of its former self, which I could not be more excited about. The summer of Sega, baby! This is it, 2017. Sega announces a rebranding of its image called The Amazing Sega, or just Amazing Sega. Gamma Sutra has got a article about that. I recommend you go and check it out. Just go to Google or your favorite search engine that isn't controlled by giant corporate conglomerates that are out to uh, change the shape of society as we know it, uh, or whatever other browser that you would like, and uh, just put out Sega Announces. 2017, May and June, is the summer of Sega. It's happening, it's a quiet storm, it's thunder rumbling on the horizon of the giant that will emerge from the smoke and lightning and shadows and fire and people screaming and gnashing of teeth, okay? Sega has re-emerged and they've done it in a, I'm gonna put one foot out, I'm gonna put another foot out, and in my Sega, oh, we had a little poltergeist moment there. Uh, in my previous video, I asked for a streaming stick from Sega, a Roku-like device that would have a Bluetooth connection to a controller that you that would have the book. So you would get the you would get the HDMI stick, and it would be shaped like a Genesis or a Jenny controller, and the other one would be a Saturn one. And I mean, you can have these in Walgreens tomorrow, brother. And I still recommend you do that. Still recommend that, Sega. A blister card, listen to me. A blister card with a Roku stick on it that, it that will go right into the HDMI that's got the games loaded on, it's got the ROMs on there, Bluetooth to a classic controller on a blister card. Dude, what do you want to charge? Like I said, what do you want to charge? $100? Boom, you got it, $100 for the entire, like the majors of the Sega collection. You know, instead of a little a little mini thing that I gotta find freaking room for, you know, I got TVs with like 10 HDMI ports. Boom, there's my Sega stick in there. Bow, I can go in there and then I can, then it puts me onto a portal that I can buy and download, leave some space on there, and I can download more games at a price. All right, give me 30, give me 30 classic, Genesis games and then a book of maybe 30 more uh, you know and again it, I mean yeah it, w it was the collection that be that big but I mean I'm, I'm serious if you could get and again if it's that big bring out another collection uh, <laughs> tomorrow tomorrow the technology is there nobody else is doing it that quite that way I mean the little NES machine the little uh, Super Nintendo machine totally get it that's annoying to me. I don't want another little box that's an imitation of the box that I already have that has got 30 ROMs on it. And it's got a, a foot long game cord on it. I, I mean, it's, it's a curiosity. It's, it's a collectible and they know it. That's what Nintendo does. That's why they short run them. They're collectibles and they know they're collectibles. They're not, 
to serve the, the entire customer base. They don't want to do that. They want to create a collectible and create like the massive value of these things. And of course, they're going to own a bunch of them. They're going to have a run of their own. And then when the price is sky, believe it, believe it. Anyway, um, Sega also announces they're doing deals with Steam, of course. They started that earlier in the year. Uh, but also now they're bringing Vanquish to Steam and giving you, and they have, I don't know if the special's still going, I didn't check, but if you bought Bayonetta on Steam, you get a 20%, 25% discount on Vanquish. Very cool promo. They're really getting into the online digital download vibe with Steam and all that. They're really doing a great job with Steam. They're seeing tons of revenue from it, which is amazing. And Vanquish is from, uh, and I have not played Vanquish, and I'm very curious to play it because I keep hearing all of these wonderful things about Vanquish is becoming like this, this cult favorite, this hidden gem by Sega. I'm anxious to play the Vanquish on, I don't know what, what you know, if I can find it on one, um, maybe I'll get it on one. Or I'll get it on Steam. I, pro I prefer probably one or, or PS4. But anyway, I digress. Sega announced Sega Forever. Sega Forever, stepping out into that mobile market and just making their titles available. They did it very quietly. I checked out the Facebook page for Sega Forever. It's only got 25,000 people on it. That, that's tiny to what I was expecting. You know, 25,000, I mean, you might as well be doing like makeup videos on Facebook or something. It's like, ouch. So I, I didn't see it was that, it was like huge, but it was kind of a soft launch and it was it was more the mobile market. I don't do a lot of mobile gaming, so I'm not really plugged in there, but it's kind of that idea of a streaming stick. I would rather have the streaming stick into my HDMI with a Sega proprietary controller on a blister card. I mean, come on, man. You can do that for $49.99 or $99.99. Anywhere between $49.99 and $99.99, you can do that. $49.99, I think, would be the sweet spot. 30 games, proprietary controller on a blister card, $49.99, $39.99. You get somewhere in there and you're gonna have a nice deal. You're gonna have an end cap, baby. You're gonna have an end cap. Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS, $39.99 Christmas time sale, $10 off. Get a second, could have second controllers available on a blister card. Have a two controller pack and a sinker controller pack. One for $39, one for $49. Boom! God, man, I would do that yesterday. I would, Sega, I would do that yesterday. Put the ROMs on an HDMI stick for fourth quarter. Listen to me, Sega. Listen to me, Sega. HDMI, Roku-like stick, wireless to a controller. That's you, you, you make them, or you have whoever you want make them that makes them like a quality controller, not this at games garbage where I was like one of the worst controls I've ever played with was the at game uh, Genesis controller. It's terrible. That at games thing, you really got to ask yourself about that at games thing. You probably made a nice, nice money off that, but God, the quality was terrible. El Terrible. So we're gonna wrap it up. This is the summer of Sega. Sega is back, baby. This is El Viejo Toro. Fancy action now. The summer of Sega. Live it, love it, use it, abuse it. <laughs> All right, peace out, support Sega. Boom. Here come the Rebel Army soldiers. There's no damage on the weapons. Let me show them some fancy action now.